Hello and welcome back to another another video. Today we are talking about Tropical Depression 10E, which has formed in the East Pacific. So, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now let's get right on into it. So the storm has maximum sustained winds of 35 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 1,006 millibars, and moving west northwest at 13 miles an hour. So 10E is going to be more short-lived of a storm. So tropical storm strength expected over the next 24 hours, and eventually going to form back into a tropical depression and continue to move northwest. So let's take a look at our arrival time winds with wind speed probabilities turned on. And you can see that the highest chance of tropical storm force winds is 40 to 50 percent from now until Monday 2 p.m. and higher at 50 to 60 percent right around Monday 2 a.m. So let's take a look at the satellite imagery, which shows a pretty well developed storm. So unlike 9E, this has plenty of thunderstorm convection, as well as a firm area of rotation right at the center there so it is now likely to become a short-lived tropical storm current storm information shows a variety of different pathways all going relatively the same direction northwest and the GFS G the GEFS and the GEPS both show that northwest track as well and intensity guidance shows a short-lived tropical storm on average here with a couple of outliers showing the stronger. Now here is weather nerds just to look at the European ensemble and that shows that northwest track before a turn toward the south. And finally here is the HWRF. Now we can see that this storm does intensify throughout the day Monday and Tuesday but eventually the low pressure becomes weak enough where it will just deform. So again, either way, no matter what, this is going to be very short lived. I do not see this going past Thursday as even a tropical depression. So just a quick video on a quick storm, but that's all for today. Thank you guys watching. See you guys next time.